what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Walk Explore Record. Uh, I'm Barry, uh, well, I'm an amateur photographer, I like getting out and about and I'm taking my camera with me so I thought you know what, I'll document it and I'll share what I'm doing and I'll take you guys along with me. Not particularly good, I only recently invested in a camera. Now I gave myself a bit of a budget on that and I gave myself a challenge to see could a cheap camera and a amateur like myself learn to do a good image. Now I've been told that I've got a bit of an eye for photography based on some of the stuff I took on my phone. Uh, so I went to com Computer Exchange, get 50 quid budget, bought myself a uh, digital camera which is a Fujifilm HS10. Uh, so I'm going to get out there, I'm going to document and uh, explore and uh, I'm going to record what I'm doing, hence the Walk, Explore, Record title. So. Uh, yeah, I want to take you guys along with me, share the images as I go in real time and uh, hopefully we can get some good images. Yeah, hopefully you guys like what you see and uh, you'll, uh, you'll subscribe and uh, like the video. Yeah, it's about 4am at the moment, so uh, I shall catch up with you in a little while. Got a bit of a walk to do. If I come across anything that's interesting along the way, of course, I'm going to document it and I will uh, speak to you guys in a bit. Car. <laughs> Boys and blue are shifting. Is it just me or is there something really nice about getting out and about when uh, the streets are quiet and there's no one around? It's like that uh, 28 days later. Of course, look at this view. So let's go and get you guys a better shot of it. Gorgeous. So I deliberately picked tonight to go to this particular location I'm going to. I've been keeping an eye on the tides, I've been keeping an eye on the weather. As it stands at the moment, there's not a single cloud in the sky, there's no rain due, there's nothing forecast, no bad weather. The tide's going to be on its way in when we get down there, so I'm not going to have a huge stretch of beach before we get to the water and some nice reflections off of, uh, of the water from the sun coming up. So uh, that's the plan. Hopefully it's not a wasted journey because I don't drive and it's a bit of a walk, you know, six miles there, six miles back, but you know, I love getting out and about. I lost about five and a half stone over the last couple of years, so yeah, it's good to get out and about and uh, keep healthy. Fantastic pub people. Big shout out to the Worsley. Definitely one of the best pubs in Sunderland. Really friendly. Right, so we are definitely making good time now. We are nearly at the beach. Have to get the camera out. I would like to have stayed out longer uh, last time in the video, but run out of batteries. Right, people, it's a lovely still morning. Uh, we're about approaching now uh, where I was a couple of days ago. Uh, if you uh, haven't seen that video, please do go and check it out, give it a like, please do share, subscribe. Uh, yeah, this is roughly the spot where I was coming up to the other day, so uh, it's lovely and peaceful at the moment. Let me spin the camera around. So as you can see, not a soul about. And we're now down the coast, we've got some beautiful skies coming up. As you can see, we're not far off lining up where we were a few days ago. Just chatting to another lovely chap down the road there, out getting his uh, shots. He's uh, travelled up from Whitby to get these shots, so uh, best of luck to him. Uh, really great chatting to you. 
and uh, I believe he's going to take a look at the channel. So hello to you. Thank you very much. Great chatting to you. Uh, right, let's push on. Still got another couple of miles to do, and uh, if we get any decent shots along the way, and of course I'll bring you. With so me. this is the spot where we were the other day, I believe. So does that line up about right? Not quite. So here we are guys, this is the spot we were at the other day and uh, we are heading that way, so let's get a rig along. Right guys, just got a couple of images of the beach at night. Uh, slow shutter, so uh, hopefully got some of that uh, fantastic sky with the high ISO on the lens. So yeah, that's coming up now. heading down the coast and uh, funnily enough I was watching I believe it was one of the crime channels a couple of weeks ago and there was a program on about the Sunderland Strangler and he uh, murdered three people tragically uh, three young three young men uh, well, I think two teenagers and a young man now one of them was dumped in an abandoned hotel or uh, beachfront property and uh, now that property used to stand just over here now the property itself has been demolished uh but you can still see the foundations of the property uh, i believe something else is about to be built on top of it but uh this is tragically where one of those unfortunate victims was was dumped now it's just round the corner from uh a lovely park area here in sunderland but uh, if I uh, come around the corner here. Yeah, look into it. I mean, it's an interesting case. There's plenty of documentaries out there on it. I mean, it came to my attention because of, uh, like I said, I think it was uh, Sky Crime. I think it's one of their, uh, one of their programs, I believe. But uh, yeah, got about... 45 minutes now before the sun comes up and uh, we are about a mile and a half away from the destination so let's get a wriggle on here's some music let's keep you entertained i hear you breathe but i can't see if you're right here next to me something's wrong wasn't it fun is it now we're done you get dressed i'm like a mess you tell me to confess, and you tell me to confess, oh I don't know what to say, what to do, how to make you see This is nothing in real life, it might just have been a bad dream You can run, you can hide, but you can't put the blame on me Because you're Unbelievable. Phone's about to die. Day two.